Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will define what is the meaning of perfect indistinguishability. It is another way of viewing perfect secret C uh, using a probabilistic framework that we will discuss now. Okay, so uh, we have a key generation algorithm, which I denoted by gen, and then we have encryption and decryption. These three things together is the encryption scheme, right? That's denoted by uh, pi. Okay, so let me now explain to you how we define perfect indistinguishability in a formal way. We have an adversary, which is, uh, you can imagine as a program or a human, uh, who will first step emit two messages, M0, M1. Um, for this discussion, you can assume M0, M1, um, they both are same length, okay? It's a first step adversary emits two messages to the challenger. So here's the challenger. The challenger is going to apply the key generation algorithm and generate the key K, the symmetric key K, right? Uh, only the challenger knows the key K, of course. Um, he's going to randomly pick an element zero or one. So bit B is either zero or one and encrypt uh, the message either M zero or M one, depending on whatever B is, right? B is randomly chosen from zero and one set. Uh, if B is zero, the challenger will encrypt M zero, otherwise it, it will encrypt M one. Okay. And then so step two, it is sending the resulting ciphertext to the adversary. The goal of the adversary is to figure out whether uh, it is given the ciphertext corresponding to M0 or M1. So adversary is going to do its magic and produces um, a bit B prime, right? Um, so that's the setup of the experiment. And uh, we say the experiment output is one, it, meaning the private key uh, eavesdropping experiment uh, outputs one. if the adversary is able to predict the bit B prime, same as the bit B, which was used by the challenger. So the challenger, let's assume challenger was choosing was uh, choosing uh, zero, zero bit. So in that case, the ciphertext corresponds to the encryption of message M0. Somehow the adversary was able to figure out that M0 was encrypted, then it will send back B prime, which is nothing but a zero. Then the output will be one, meaning the experiment is successful adversary was able to break the system. Okay, uh, so now let's define what is the meaning of perfect secrecy using this experiment. Okay, so any adversary can just make a random guess, right? It's There are only two possibilities. Either it, is, it can be bit zero or bit one, meaning the challenger must have encrypted M0 or M1. So with the probability of half, adversary can win this game. So in the context of perfect indistinguishability, the way we define security is that no adversary can win with a probability better than half. Okay, the, the half is the uniform random guess and any adversary can make. So this is how we define perfect secrecy using the notion of indistinguishable um, encryption models, right? The adversary was not able to tell exactly whether message M0 was encrypted or M1 was encrypted. Okay, you can imagine the encryption scheme has already built in randomness. Um, we don't need to know uh, how encryption actually works in this case. We can treat it as a black box. Uh, the key generation algorithm is also randomly generating a key, so the adversary should not be able to uh, figure out which key was actually used. Of course, B is also secret, otherwise the whole game is um, uh, not so useful. So this is how we define perfect secrecy, and that's what I wanted to show to you. Thank you very much for your attention.